Okay, because linearity is a very important topic, we're going to do lots of exercises here, okay? All right, so first example. Now, always remember, we should check three things. So, the first condition is degree. Second condition is coefficients. Third condition is the G, the right hand side function or the non-coefficient function. Okay, how about degrees in the first equation? Here, y to the power 1, good. So, do that term by term, just like I do. Here, we have dy over dx to the power 4. So, here the degree is 4. First derivative, degree 4. But for linearity, we need degree 1. So, the first condition itself violated. So, this is a non-linear differential equation because the first condition was violated. Okay, good. Second one, start with the degree. y to the power 1. Here the second derivative, 2 is the derivative, but the degree is 1. Second derivative, degree 1. So, first condition is satisfied. Okay, second condition is coefficients. So, what are the coefficients? x and negative sin x. Coefficients should be only functions of x, which is the case. Good. Third condition is the non-coefficient function, which is 3. And it is just a constant. It's not a function of dependent variable. So, good. So, all three satisfy. So, this is a linear differential equation. Third example. Now, here degrees first y to the power 1 y prime to the power 1 prime is the first derivative not the degree y double prime is the second derivative degree is 1 so all three are degree 1 good first condition satisfied second coefficients 1 minus x is a function of x good so 3x function of x 5 is a constant good so second condition is also satisfied Non-coefficient function, natural log x, which is only a function of x, third condition satisfy. Good, so it's a linear differential equation. Let's go to the fourth one. y to the power 1, good, y prime to the power 1, y double prime to the power 1, so degree 1, first condition, good. Second condition, coefficients, 1 minus y. Ah, that's bad, right? 1 minus y is a function of y. We have dependent variable in the coefficient. So, second condition is violated. So, this is a non-linear differential equation because of 1 minus y. Okay, good. Third, uh, fifth one. Degrees. So, here what is the dependent variable? What is the independent variable? Now, we all of a sudden change from y to x from y x to v t my bad so here what's on the top is the dependent variable which is v independent variable is t so we have to change our three conditions from y x to v t first condition is degree of dependent variable and its all derivatives should be one so v and dv over dt should be degree one but we have v square here degree two so this is a non-linear differential equation because v square okay all right sixth one here the dependent variable is capital t simple variable uh, independent variable is simple t so degrees so t to the capital t to the power one here k is a constant so no problem dt over dt that's degree one so first condition is good second condition coefficients here the coefficients of dt over dt is 1, fine. Here the coefficients of capital T is simple k, a constant, fine. Good, so second condition is also satisfied. And the non-coefficient function is if you expand k, you get kt minus 70k. So non-coefficient function is 70k, which is a constant too, right? 70 times k is a constant, is a constant. So third condition is also satisfied. So this is a linear differential equation okay seventh one now seventh one let's look at the degrees u to the power one oh u and u is the dependent variable r is the independent variable so we should have u to the power one du over dr to the power one which is the case here the second derivative but the power one good so the first condition is satisfied the next condition is coefficients the coefficient of these all three terms are 1. It's 1, right? So, 1 is a constant. Perfectly fine. So, second condition, good. 
third condition is the non coefficient term so it's cosine r plus u now this is not a function of only independent variable it's a function of both u and r so how about that is it linear or non linear that's non linear right because we say coefficients and the non coefficient function should be only functions of independent variable so here this is a function of both independent and dependent variable so because of this u here cosine u this is a non linear differential equation 8 i will keep that as uh, x exercise for you 9 so here the dependent variable is capital t simple t is the independent variable so we have capital t square here so dependent variable degree is 2 so this is a non linearity because t is square okay all right final example so what is the dependent variable p right independent variable simple t okay so if you can rewrite this differential equation so we can see better we can distribute p it will be p minus p square now dependent variable is capital p but we have a p square here so degree 2 of a dependent variable because of that this is a non linear differential equation okay all right then yeah so those are a few nine examples of linearity and non linearity thank you